Hip-hop legend Daryl McDaniels and casting director Sheila Jaffe co-founded the Felix Organization, serving more than 10,000 children in the foster care system. The organization sends children to Camp Felix, an annual sleepaway summer camp in upstate Putnam Valley. And this weekend, on Mother's Day appropriately, a special walk-a-thon is going to be taking place to help raise money for the charity. And Daryl McDaniels joining us this morning. Hi, Daryl. Good morning. Good day, everyone. Yes, it's great to have you <laughs> back on Good Day. We can't have the studio. This is the next best thing. Yes, it is. How you been? I'm doing good. I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm maintaining, you know, the, it's been a crazy, crazy year with this pandemic. And um, everybody's trying to make adjustments and everybody's trying to stay involved in everybody's lives and keep everybody focused for the future. And positive and productive and you know when you think about those kids in the foster care system and orphans and you know people everywhere if this was a shock to us imagine what they're going through right so we try to make sure that everybody is a-okay all the way every day so everybody can have a good day every day mm -hmm. so it was founded in 2006 Daryl was there a special story behind it Oh, yes, it, it's, it's a crazy story, but real quickly, um, I found out that I was adopted at age 35. Hmm. So you could imagine what that revelation did to me. And, you know, it was a shocking revelation. It was traumatic. I went through a lot. I had all these emotions. Um, I didn't want to live anymore. So long story short, I was an alcoholic, suicide, a metaphysical wreck who was about to jump off a building and found out he was adopted. And when I, when I got that news about me, that part of my identity, I felt so all alone. But there was a friend in L.A. who said, there's somebody I think you should meet. So he introduced me to this wonderful lady named Sheila Jaffe, who's a casting director out there. And she also was adopted, and she mm. had been going through the emotions of searching for a birth family. So when he hooked me up with Sheila, I didn't feel alone anymore. I was like, oh, my God, I'm not alone. There's another real life adopted person. And me and Sheila got to talking, and basically we said, we don't like the word lucky. We said we were fortunate to be adopted. You know, we were fortunate that our parents kept us and this and that. And then Sheila said, but what about all those other kids in the foster care system? And we said, we need to do something about them. So originally, we was going to open up the Felix facilities that would take every foster kid in the United States and start giving them life skills at a very young age, not wait until they age out the system at 18 and 21. Mm -hmm. But after a, few, a long talk with some of our close friends, they said, that's a great idea, but you need to start a little smaller. So <laughs> reluctantly, me and Sheila was like, okay, we'll do it. So we came up with Camp Felix, which is a sleepaway camp, which gets these foster kids um, all together for six weeks up in Putnam County. It costs $500 to send a foster kid to camp for one week. Mm. But while they're there, yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. $500 to send a kid to camp for one week. And you know that those memories of camp could be life-changing. But while they're there, instead of, you know, it, it not just giving them recreation and lakes and swimming and nature, we find out what they want to do, and we provide them with the necessary things that will um, allow them to become productive, positive um, individuals that they were put here to be. What I'm saying is this. A kid's situation doesn't define who they are, and we make sure of that. I, I think it's a wonderful idea. How can we support this, Daryl? What, what are you doing to, to, to raise a little money? That's a great question. Usually we throw all of these events, you know, throughout the year to raise the money because we do it ourselves. You know, we get out there, it's grassroots, it's family-orientated, neighborhood oriented and everybody that we run into, we ask them to help us. But since we couldn't have a lot of the indoor, um, you know, the galas and the dances and the concerts and stuff like that, on Mother's Day, this Mother's Day, May 9th, um, Hudson River Park, the Felix organization is doing... Da -na 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 or walk this way, walk to raise money <laughs> for the kids and foster care system. So that walk this way, Aerosmith, history changing, life changing, cultural changing, world shaking event in my life 
wasn't just given to me because I am the mighty king of rock, the greatest person on a microphone. <laughs> I will be able to actually get out there and walk this way so everybody can have a good day. What, what, what a wonderful idea. Will you be yeah. playing music as you're walking? Because that will definitely get everybody psyched up to do this. Yeah, you can bring music. You know, it's, it, it gets people outside. It gets people together because this pandemic has you know, been holding us all down. And um, we're gonna walk, it's a 5K walk. It brings people together, but it's also for a good purpose to empower, right. to educate, motivate, and, and make these kids realize that they are already great. That's fantastic. Are you in the studio making any new music? Yes, I got a lot of new music coming out. Um, right now I have a song produced by the incredible Bumpy Knuckles, AKA Freddie Fox. It's called Colorful and it stars Lady Pink, one of the greatest graffiti artists in the history of graffiti in New York since she was 15 years old. Let's go girl power. And then I'm getting ready to drop a single uh, called Black Betty featuring Travis Barker on drums, Sebastian Bach on vocals, Mick Mars from Motley Crue on guitar, and Duff McKagan wow. from Guns N' Roses on bass. So it's on. Let's get ready to have a great, great um, life moving forward so that everybody can have a good day. But remember, May 9th, Mother's Day, walk this way with the Felix organization. We're starting at 9 a.m., and we're going to go to 11 a.m. There's two um, sections of walk. One, well, you know, to keep it socially distant, we're going to start at 9. They're going to walk, and I'm going to start. Sheila's going to walk at 9 with the first crowd. I'm going to walk at 10 with the second crowd. Then we're going to end up at 11 a.m. on Hudson River Park and let everybody know worldwide that every kid should always have a good day, just like y'all do here every Darryl, day. Darrell, uh. we love talking to you. We're going to send everybody to your website, thefelixorganization.org. And yes. check it out. Support. So important for these kids to mm -hmm. get this wonderful opportunity. So nice yes. to have you. Hopefully next time it'll be in person. Stay yes, well. I miss y'all. Uh, we miss you. you. Thank day, you for everybody. the good work. <laughs> Thank you.